Hi everyone, Bleep the Knee Bloop Tano here, the internet's busiest music nerd. And it's time for a review of the new Dive record. Um, is the, is, is our Brooklyn dream pop and post-punk duo dropping their sophomore full-length LP over here following up their very buzzed debut album, Ocean. Easily one of the most relevant records of the past five years when it comes to the particular sound and style that Dive have going. Because there's a lot of copycats out there. We'll get into that maybe a little bit deeper into the review, but personally, I don't really care for this record. It's too washed out, too texturally bland, too neglectful of songwriting for it to really be catchy, memorable, engaging. But there is something to be said for the way that Dive sort of raced to the front of this very trendy sound in indie rock music a couple of years ago. Despite the fact that their sound just only differs very slightly from many of the other groups chasing after this twang guitar, repetitive, buried vocal, too much reverb, dreamy rock sound. So I, I haven't always had the uh, positive opinion of this style, this trend within rock music, within underground rock music. However, I think this new LP over here is kind of an improvement. I still have my reservations here with this record, but Dive has definitely made their sound a little bit more satisfying. First, the versatility of this record. Sure, there's Dream and Jangle Pop on this thing, but there's a little more post-punk influence on this as well. And I think a strong Krautrock vibe on some of these tracks, especially the title track here, which reads to me as like, a a, a noy instrumental. The layers upon layers of guitars on this thing shimmer and sparkle beautifully. They don't kind of bleed and blend together into this really bland, unmemorable mess like they did on the last record. The production is just noticeably better and every piece, every layer sticks out and sort of has its own little spot in the mix. Even the bass is way more crunchy, prominent. It just pops in the mix really nicely. <laughs> The drums have a nice spot in the mix, too. It may sound like they're playing the same beat over and over and over again, but uh, <laughs> a lot of the elements of each song on this record are pretty similar. I think it kind of plays to the minimal, hypnotic, linear direction that each song is kind of moving in. Dive has a very obvious formula, but if there's anything they do on this record, I think they widen it a little bit and prove just how much variety they can squeeze out of it. And if there's one more step up from their last record, record to this record to make note of, it's the reverbed lead guitar lines, which were very prominent on the last album, but for the most part, were really forgettable. However, I'm finding a lot of the guitar melodies here to be sort of captivating. The lead guitars on this record might actually be one of this project's saving graces, because they're certainly more interesting than the vocal passages that they trade places with most of the time. These guitar melodies, they're small, they're short, they're miniature, but I think they leave an impact. The lead melody on the song, You're Not Far, is super catchy. The squawking, noisy guitars, as well as the very quickly descending guitar lines on the song Valentine are really great. I love these psychedelic layers upon layers of guitars on the song Loose Ends. That was a really nice touch. And the lead melody on the song Under the Sun is really bright. It's really feel good. For once, I think Dive are finally creating that really intoxicating sound that I think their last album was implying so heavily. So without a doubt, improvements on this record in terms of the production, the writing, the performances, but the vocals are still way too impersonal for me. They're so dejected and aloof and buried so far down into the mix, they might as well not even be there sometimes. In fact, I think when they pop in, they sort of kill the momentum of these tracks because all of a sudden the great guitar lines and the fantastic guitar tones are sort of swapped out for these really mumbly, forgettable lead vocals. Especially on the song Bent, or the track that Sky Ferreira is featured, much of the time the vocals sound like they're just killing time, which is kind of confusing, upsetting. Uh, I'm not saying the band needs to completely overhaul their sound, but clearly, they put way more effort into just upping the instrumental chops of this project. I don't see why they couldn't have upped the vocal chops or the vocal presence on this project. I mean, either improve the vocals as you have improved the instrumentals, or just get rid of the vocals entirely and do the instrumental album that you very clearly want to make. Or place more instrumental cuts on the project. I mean, some of the more instrumentally driven 
cuts on this project are some of my favorites. Like on the second half of the song, Take Your Time, which has this really great building wall of guitar chords that are really beautiful, really intense. The song Meyer is some quality my Bloody Valentine worship, where I actually find the vocals a little chilling. And the track Healthy Moon, this is a decent song too, and one of the few moments where the vocals actually have some presence, and they carry a good tune, and they actually add to the dreamy, seductive quality of the track. It's not just the guitars and the bass kind of carrying the brunt of the song's appeal. So there are some songs in the track listing that I like, there are some songs in the track listing that I find merely tolerable, a few that I'm just completely tuned out of, not only because the vocals are just so drab, so boring, but at this point on the record, Dive has also, I think, uh, with this thing being 17 tracks, exhausted their very simple basic formula. Overall, not a bad record from Dive, and I think they went to great lengths to improve a lot of the issues that I had with their last record, which I just completely ignored because I didn't see anything engaging about it at all. This, to me, sonically was way more flavorful, way more melodic, way more colorful, but the vocals just do nothing for me whatsoever. They're kind of like the uh, the one of two conjoined twins that's sort of just weak and dying off. The sound play, the linear grooves, the repetition, the hypnosis, the intensity, all of these things seem to be very vibrant characteristics to this record, but time and time again, one track after another, they suffer at the hand of, okay, we need to do a, a verse chorus verse structure. Oh, we need to have these vocals in here. Like, it, so many of these songs would probably be so much better just as jammy instrumentals. Feeling A light to decent six on this thing. Transition, transition. Have you given this album a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best, you're the best. What should I review next? Anthony Fantano dies. And say something really nice to someone down in the comments. Please. Forever.